Lucky day, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. How are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether, and welcome to Awake the Wisdom Within. Yeah, so my daughter, she's over there playing today, and I'm not going to stop her from playing. I did tell her to quiet down a little bit, but I can't stop her from playing. She's always around me, so... <laughs> um. I'm just going to have to, y'all, look over her. If she gets on your nerves too bad, then this video is probably not meant for you. Because, yeah, I'm not going to stop her from playing. So, um, no. anyways, no, this video is about, y'all, she said, no, no, never, I'm bored. <laughs> okay, anyways, y'all, this video is about um, what presents might be around you. Um, might be in your house maybe maybe not we're going to see so let me tell y'all where I got this idea from I watched dotting dreams and she had a video and she was like it's called um what presence was standing over me that night or something like that uh, I don't know if she has that night in there maybe that's just in my head because that's what I was thinking and i can't keep going to that video so <laughs> i went to it like when she first did it i went to it and like i've been to it like maybe like three times before and i think like i used to pick like the same car i think it was one other time where i picked something different and um i know like since i've moved here there's just like this presence that's here and um i've had a reading i've actually had a personal reading and someone told told me what it was so um but the thing is since I have to deal with it and I think about it sometimes and I actually want to I feel like sometimes I should go back to her video to see if I can get more information and then I'm like I can't keep going back to her video so I'm gonna make my own but yeah y'all go watch her video too because for one I really, 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 really like her channel. She's, um, I don't watch many readers on here. And when I watch her, you know, uh, I, her energy is real. So that's what I like about her. And yeah, so y'all watch her channel. I don't know her. I don't know her at all. I've never spoke to her a day in my life. <laughs> I might have commented on her videos like from time to time or whatever. I don't know. I probably I really don't like to comment on other readers' videos for my own personal readings. I mean I mean uh reasons. So she don't know me. She didn't have me say this or I didn't tell her I was gonna say this. She don't know me at all i don't know her at all so i'm just telling y'all the energy that i feel when i um lit watch her videos um i don't watch her that much but i also don't think she posts that much and i like that about her i like that she don't post that much so anyways y'all we got some geos out here y'all already know i tell y'all all the time well those of you guys who are familiar with my videos they're my favorite crystal so i recently figured out they're my soul crystal and i'm going to i have another video i don't know i haven't decided if i'm going to even upload that video y'all we have the first geode are y'all into this one it's the smallest it's the, like the smallest one and it has been with me for so long it is a demon buster because i remember my friend gave me this crystal and i didn't ask her for it she gave it to me and i used it one night to defeat a demon and it like left quickly negative entity whatever you want to call it so i use them all the time now this is the second one don't it look similar to that one it's like his oldest sister or brother or something like that i don't know why i love these so much the energy is so good it's good for pain y'all they're real good for pain i just love geodes they're so special to me. This is the last one. So which one are you going to be led to? Israel. Israel. Don't beat the car to death. Okay. So are y'all ready? I know y'all were already ready. Y'all waiting on me. Okay, let's go. Okay, so for those of you guys who were drawn to the first G.O., let's see what your cards are saying. So this is for if you guys are feeling like there's some type of presence around you, like you keep feeling it, you don't know what it is, we're going to see. Andy and Cross, okay. Seer. Okay. 
We have the heart of the sky. We have eagle. The rainmaker. You have several different um, presences around you. So you're intuitive, you're an empath, you're a seer. So of course, you're going to feel these things, okay? And if you don't know it, then that's why. Uh, beings like this, you guys, spirits are like drawn to seers. Um, point blank, period. <laughs> They just are. Um, because they know if anyone has any type of possibility of seeing them, then you do. Okay, you guys know what I'm thinking of right <coughs> off. I'm thinking of that movie Ghost. You know that movie with Patrick Swayze? I think it's Patrick Swayze in there. And Demi Lovato and uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, you know, like, um, when Patrick Swayze... Uh, was trying to find someone to help him and Whoopi Goldberg like she was like pretending to be like she was a psychic okay she knew she was a psychic but I don't think she knew that she could do what she was pretending to do <laughs> which was speak to spirits and so um the thing is she was kind of like being a fraud okay and she knew it but she did have the ability okay um kind of like kind of like what's the other woman that did that there's a lot of psychics that do that you know um a lot of people do that a lot of people do that on youtube they definitely have the gift um because for one gifts comes without repentance if you guys don't know what that means it means like you can basically have a gift and and, and still be a bad person because hey let me like you know devils have gifts too you know the, uh, you know, negative people have gifts too so um so it doesn't matter. That's why sometimes you guys you can't really put your your the people who you get personal readings from or your seers, your gurus, your spiritual advisors, your teachers and all that. You can't really put them um up on a pedestal too much because yes, I really feel like it's a sense of responsibility that we do have, but you can't really put us up on a pedestal too much because at the end of the day we're just human, okay? But yeah, um, a lot of people end up getting their feelings hurt when they find out people are like, are like, um, really, like really, really, really help them and then they're bad people. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go so far left with this, but I feel like I just need to be sad. It's kind of how I feel about Donald Trump, where there are some people who feel like he's just here to save the world. And even though the reading that I did came out, y'all check out that really came out that said that too but i'm saying all this stuff so you guys can understand yourselves better you know um that does not mean like people have to watch out sometimes because i've had to learn this hard way the like you can't just assume somebody's good just because they're here to help you no there's a difference okay people that does not mean that you are good that means that you are carrying the right vibrations the right knowledge the right intellect to be able to help the people and sometimes yahweh or the creator has to send people who can get the job done and it doesn't matter if they are good or bad you know so um and so sometimes people just get it twisted people are when people find out someone is here to help them they're like oh my gosh this person is really good no that person is just that sent to help you okay so you probably don't even know that you have this gift you know you probably don't even see yourself as a seer you probably don't feel like you're just a saint or something like that and you're like well why are they coming to me why are they here for you know um for me because they they um when they can see when you can see them or they when when they can see you then you can see them okay how am i trying to say this basically y'all they um when they're in the astrals or the spirit world okay it's going to basically show them like you're going to look different your aura is going to be different and since they see in the spirit now then the easy, simplest way to put this is since they are they are seeing with spiritual eyes and i seeing with natural eyes so they naturally 
gravitate towards seers and you might not even know that you are a seer you might not even know that you are an empath you just have this feeling like like you always looking over your shoulder you always feeling like you see somebody like you always feel like you see an image and that's what it was that's what it is and you guys want to know why you are seeing this you're seeing this for the simple fact of so you can go to your calling so you can go to your light work because i feel like a lot of you guys do not know that you um have the ability to even be a medium and some of you guys might be mediums but you probably just or you know have tapped into that word before but you don't like it like me i don't like it i don't like that i'd be like no like whatever y'all want go back go back like because like i'm not i'm not working today <laughs> that's what i tell them sometimes y'all i'm like i don't know like i don't i don't remember if i did a reading with your cousin or not i don't know when the next time your cousin or your sister or brother is going to contact me you know so sometimes like spirits are still left to uh from and oh you guys i'm picking this up too so maybe some of you guys do do spiritual work and sometimes you have to cleanse yourself a little better because sometimes spirits are still left over and they're still lingering on they're just so happy that you can see them you know because they really need to get messages over sometimes that they stay and they linger on but you have to really cleanse your area cleanse your house and tell those spirits to leave um i wasn't picking up bad energy you're just a little spooked because you're not used to it and you just feel some type of presence they only want your attention and your spiritual team is only allowing this your spiritual team is only allowing this just because they want you to go into your calling more y'all this is the thing some of you guys are in your calling you just don't want to really go this far into it you don't want to go too far into mediumship and talking to the dead but this is for you and this is the only reason why they're there um you guys don't be scared of it don't be intimidated like i said yes there are bad people out there who, who abuse it and stuff like that but um spirit is like we want you to know who you are we want you to know that yes this is for you and that we're using you uh-uh and that we're using you for this we want you to know this okay and they're like don't be scared don't be intimidated by it i mean don't have don't feel like you have to be such a saint you don't have to be such a saint be your regular everyday type of person you know and um and that's it y'all you don't yeah just don't don't let the job intimidate you um the next time you feel a presence though like simply ask to the go away like look into different rituals and things like that to see because i really don't feel like it had they have too much of a message for you i think this is the only thing this the only thing that they're really doing is getting you to go more into your calling you know in a different area and if you're not there or if you're doing another part of your light work then this is also for you too okay so that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe Bye. Bye. Okay, so for those of you guys who are drawn to the second one, this one, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so do you guys feel like you have a presence around you? Are you always looking over your shoulder and like, what's going on, but I don't see nothing? Like, seems like something going on, but I don't see nothing. We gonna see what this presence is, okay? So, um, we have fire. We have the mystical shaman. I was just about to tell y'all. I don't know why I wanted to tell you this group that, but I'm only using my mystical shaman deck today. Like this is the only deck that I was ready to use. Um, lightning, the vision quest. Maybe some of you guys relate to the first one too. It's kind of similar. Um, the first no no no. The first group is just more so as spirits in general. These are your ancestors trying to get your attention um they want you to take action they keep trying to show up in your life because you're not taking action on something it's about to be detrimental they like take action take action it hasn't came yet i have a card this card says lightning and then i have another card that says thunder um when i see the thunder i look at it more so it's like um uh, something that it has occurred i don't know why i do that 
and lightning comes before thunder i feel like so this is something that's not happening yet but definitely they're trying to shine light on something with this fire car here they're trying to get you to do something and they're trying to get you to do it in a hurry okay so um the thing is this is this is your this is your um your spiritual quest this is your light work this is what you're supposed to be doing this is your vision this is your baby this is your business um you know what i mean by baby it's like some of you guys have been giving have given birth to like a really great idea um you have not done it yet i guess circumstances you know what i feel like some of you guys are like yeah but circumstances like i'm trying i know i know my ancestors want me to do this but like i don't see a way out and they're saying there is a way out i feel like it's more obvious than you think i think you're just kind of overthinking it and some of you guys are like yeah i feel like if you're talking about the obvious way, that's kind of not what I want to do. You know what? Don't worry about things being so per perfect, okay? Put this thing out there. Do what you got to do. Whatever they're telling you to do, go where you have to go. Don't be scared. Um, And just do this, okay? Walk in faith. Take that leap of faith. Because if they have to, if you're not a person, they just naturally see spirits. You're not even natural that person. And they have to literally show up in your life the best way they can because you can't see them anyways, you know. I was thinking you guys probably to the first one. You're probably, this This is different. This is different. And if you are, then hey, yeah, both of these are for you then. But yeah, this is pretty much different because these, these are your ancestors. Turn it down. And, um, but they're like saying that you're not, you're not even one of those that, that, that like, this is, this is not one of your gifts. Like, you know, you don't really see spirits. You might, you might hear them, you might feel them, but you don't really see the spirit. So they are almost making themselves um, visible to you because they are saying, Hey, take action. Well, the next time you feel like you see something at the corner of your eye, go sit down in your room, go to the living room, wherever you go, just go sit down somewhere and say, okay, let me figure out how to, how I can make action on this. Or, yeah, I've been putting this off. Some of you guys, it's a move, and they're like, okay, you know you're supposed to be planning on moving. Go sit down and figure out where you're going to live, you know? <laughs> And then some of them are like, okay, you know, you said you've been wanting to purchase this. Go sit down somewhere and see how much it's going to cost because we're trying to make this happen for you. I just hear take action, take action, take action, okay? They're really trying to get you to do this. Like, they don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. And like I said, y'all, if you guys are not natural seers when it comes to the physical if you can't physically see spirits and they're basically showing themselves to you, like you actually see shadows sometimes and stuff like that, and that's not even your gift. Yeah, you're spiritual, but you know that's not even your gift. Then they're really trying to make themselves known. They're not trying to scare you. They're just trying to say, hey, you know, we're your ancestors. We're your guides, you know. It may not be ancestors, just guides, spiritual guides. And they're saying, take action on this Whatever it is, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. If you guys are really confused about that, then hey, um, hit me up for a um, hit me up for a personal reading. Uh, you can go to your favorite reader, who whoever. I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter. I will say though, you might want to come to me, and I'm not saying this for no money. I'm just saying, it just because I'm the one who gave you the message. Okay, so. I might be able to look into the situation a little deeper. And I feel like I have some experience when it comes to this. And I tell people all the time, like, there are people that I really listen to that I really like too. But whoever has given me that message and I'm kind of confused or I need to know more, I'm going to go to that person who gave me that message because that's what has always worked for me. So, and I, I feel like that's what, that's what you need to do. So, um, if you really just don't know how to take action on this and you're still left feeling a little confused, I feel like you might need a personal reading. But like I said, at the end of the day, go to your favorite reader, okay? If you're just not comfortable, 
by all means she gonna she he they gonna be able to pick it up so <laughs> you know i'm just trying to help you guys out so but that's all y'all continue to come along with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye okay y'all for those of you guys who are drawn to the last one this one right here you know i always say the last one is like easier i think i did one when reading with the last one was kind of like tough but let's see i know i don't have as many cards as the other one so have y'all been seeing something like in the corner of your eye you know you turn around you feel like something's there you turn around and ain't nothing okay let's see let's see what presence is around you okay we have water okay we have wild woman <laughs> Okay, we have stand still and we have the arrow. Okay. Um dog on it. What am I picking up? I don't know, but I'm a little scared. I ain't gonna lie. A little freaked out. Um uh, this might come as a surprise. I always interpret a wild one as something positive. Today when I'm looking at this, I instantly feel crazy woman. Um, let me say this. This really can go two different ways, okay? Um, I definitely was picking up a gentle spirit. Then um, you have like a lunatic type of spirit around you. So do you guys know what a lunatic spirit is? Um, somebody's kind of crazy somebody's kind of crazy i don't know whether in this lifetime or another lifetime i don't know if this is someone dead or someone like remote viewing you uh definitely this can require a personal reading definitely 100 percent because you got to get this spirit up out your house so with this arrow card here you're very protected um I think your house is protected. That's why the spirit can't do nothing, but it, it likes to hunt you. Here in jealousy, the spirit kind of jealous of you. Um, let me tell y'all what this is. This is energy. This is not really spirit. This is energy. So this person is not dead. Okay, this isn't a ghost. This is energy. This is uh, a crazy woman and this person sees you and they want what you have they want your gift um you're you are an empath you're a seer so you pick it up on this energy you can pick up on energy okay so look, a lot of you guys probably are energy readers um i know i am i mean i'm i'm an energy reader and there's a difference, you guys, between sometimes you think you're seeing a spirit and you're seeing an energy. And this is someone who has projected themselves towards you so much because they are crazy. Um, no lie, if you can, contact me for a personal reading um, because I'm going to try to get the person's name to the best of my ability so you can freeze them okay that's what i just i mean the day i came up on that freezer spell <laughs> do whatever you want to do freeze them get you a black candle whatever you got to do um but this person i keep i keep hearing freeze them though and when you do this this person's going it's like energy is going to go like poof it's just gonna leave figure out who this i hear m somebody m um i see some w so is it not an m but a w or not a w but an m maybe both maybe some l's somebody with an l um j Janet, um, whatever you are, I'm not calling up on you. Um, Catherine, Kathy, Jeff. 
Yeah, I'm trying to see if I heard she or any more names, but I'm not just going to be shouting out any names. <sighs> um, yeah, so you're so freaking great <laughs> that somebody don't like you. They don't like nothing about you. Um, somebody's jealous of you and they are jealous of their uh, of your gift. You know, y'all, I just never understand the spirit of jealousy. Um, I understand when you kind of envy somebody sometimes. Things happen, happens for other people sometimes and you kind of wish it was you. But you don't feel bad about it. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't want it so bad that you hate that person. <laughs> you know, that's what jealousy do. Oh my gosh! Like I remember being. I think this was the other day, where, and I guess it was so, like, um, strong. My friend picked up on it, but hey, she's sensitive too. She's an empath. My brother was seeing, well, they, they're real brothers and sisters, but still, I just don't see that, okay? <laughs> I see friend and friend. <laughs> That's what I see. He went to visit her in the place where she had not moved, and I just felt like, no, like, they just... They're just doing everything without me. Like they just they fist in the house. I just knew they fist in the house. They were they were about to have fun. You know, I'm not and I'm not now all of us have moved away from that from the hometown. But that was more so of what I would feel like envious, what envious was. And I at that moment wanted to be there so bad. Now, I feel like je when jealousy happens, I think that's when you go to another level. You not only want to be in that place, you are mad at the person because you're not them or you're not there. You know what I'm saying? Did I even explain that right? I'm trying to get y'all to see what what this energy is around you because the thing was i was just sad i wasn't mad i was sad i felt some type of way because for one what i've been going through here being lonely and all this stuff like that i don't got nobody i don't know nobody here so um but jealousy crosses the line because Jealousy is, is someone with just this unstable mind. They can't understand celebrating people when they do good. Like, um, if something happens to my friend and it's a good thing, I might feel like, well, no, I don't feel like that. I always feel like I can't wait until that happens to me. And for some reason, y'all, I heard somebody say this don't exist, but they a lie because I know I'm this type of person. I legit want to do, want everybody to be, like, good. I legit want to see everybody win. Like, it's just some evil people that I hate to see win because they're evil, and I don't feel like they're winning, they're, you know, anyway. So, but I, I hate to see that, but... Uh, just so y'all can understand the energy. I feel like y'all understand jealousy, but the reason I'm saying this is because I was on a reading with someone one time and this, she just could not understand, but I told her, I feel like you. I don't understand why people, well, somebody want to go so far to hunt somebody and be around people just because they are jealous of them. Jealousy is a real thing and it's crippling. This is a, someone crazy. Like I said, a lunatic. They can't just say, I mean, I feel like this is a feeling that we all feel. I think we all go there. Don't we all say, oh man, I want that. I wish I had that too. Don't we all do that? But still, we, pr but still, we are happy for those people. Like, you know, um, you don't envy the, you know, you don't, um, 
you're not jealous of them or you don't envy them in a bad way or in a negative way i don't know i heard there was a difference between those two words and i think like envy is the more safer version if i'm not <laughs> it whatever whatever either way it go uh you guys know what i am saying and this person is simply jealous of you for no good reason they just see you and they want what you want they like the way you walk they like the way you talk <laughs> like this song what's that song woke up to people to people looking like me wake up to people talking like me now i probably had that song so backwards y'all but i know it goes something like that <laughs> and i think you guys probably see that you see these p you see people who are copying you they're trying to be like you and you know and like you know you you know you're your naive self just keep it on this you might be a little naive okay i'm just saying that because this energy i'm picking up because i'm like that too you sitting up there thinking that you know you just cool like you know you'll really be cool with everybody you're really you just thinking like everybody is um like you got your own problems so they got their own problems ain't nobody worried about me ain't nobody thinking about about me a lie that is not true people are thinking about you people are looking at you you are special you're chosen you have what they want and they see it and they know it and they want it but they can't get it they can't get it for when you're chosen i mean you're 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 protected okay get this energy out your house or from around you this energy follows you okay it's not even just that you before my phone got cut off, the person is just crazy, okay? Um, okay, real quick, I'm picking up some crazy exes. Picking up some crazy exes, too. Someone just wishes they just had you back into their lives. You were the best thing that ever happened to them. Okay, oh, this one is longer than what I wanted to be. Y'all know I don't like to talk that long. Let me tell y'all this. I had a dream one time where I was being nice to someone. Israel, cut that down. I was being nice to someone, and uh, this is my dream. And the person started holding on to me when I let me go. Okay, I know what the dream was saying. The dream was saying, watch who you entertain. There are people who have been so scarred, so messed up in life, don't feel like you can just come along and be that person's friend and show them show them that you're friendly. Just because everybody else have messed them over, don't feel like you going to be the one. Don't feel like you have to be the one to be friendly. And don't feel like, like I said, with your naive self, <laughs> I'm feeling this energy, y'all. I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying to help y'all out. Y'all know I have to tell y'all the truth. That's just how I am. That's who I am. Don't don't be like, well, they've always been mistreated their whole life. They've always, you know, um been like the black sheep or the all went out. I'm going to be their friend. Not with everybody, honey. Some people are so scarred. They are so torn. And they just have started to wallow in a negative energy that it has turned them crazy. They're insane. Now they are lunatics, okay? So some people watch who you give your time to. Now, we have probably all given our time to somebody like that in our past. And these people are just stuck to you now. They've never been treated so good before. You know, it's kind of a good thing because you're so nice. But we have to watch that, y'all. Big-hearted people, givers, you know, people who really try to understand people. We got to watch that, y'all. We got to watch the way, you know, who we are so nice to, you know. I've had to learn that. And I had this dream. And my spiritual team had to see me this dream. Had to show me, like, yeah, this person, you know, is at fault. I mean, it's not at fault. Yeah, this person has to be treated bad. Yeah. And some people you can talk to, you encourage, you can encourage, and they can come right out of that. They can be like, wow, I've never had anybody treat me like this before. And they can respect that, and they can come right out of that. But some people, they get attached to you because they've never felt friendship before. They never felt like before. Y'all, comment in the comment section below. It's a horror movie like this. 
it what is it y'all i forgot <laughs> tell me what it is and these people you know like start developing an unhealthy obsession with you okay so y'all watch out with that about that i think we've seen that a couple of horror movies before where people they, they just develop like an unhealthy obsession about people you know and isn't that like that in that Beyonce movie, Obsession, or something like that? And uh, so, yeah, you got to watch who you be nice to sometimes. So these people start clinging on to you, and they don't even want to leave, you know. They probably start doing, like, uh, rituals and stuff, trying to get you back. And you wonder why you having headaches, you know. You wonder why you having muscle spasms, body aches, you know. Like, all of a sudden, like, your arm hurt or something like that, or your leg hurt, or you just having headaches. It's because your spiritual team is protecting you from all those rituals and curses and spells that people are putting on you that this ex is probably putting on you this ex is trying to get you back so bad they putting all kinds of spells on you trying to get you back but your spiritual team is not letting it happen because you are there protecting you're there cover you guys you guys have been doing your spiritual baths you wear your spiritual jewelry you're carrying your crystals you know how to protect yourself i can tell you guys some spiritual people okay so um continue to do that and that's why these energies cannot come in because you're so protected and plus you know how to protect yourself now Spirit is allowing this stuff to keep going so you can see what's around you. You can know what's around you. Now you can help somebody else. And you can get this. Like I said, I think you guys probably already know. You can get this this energy out, out from around you. You know, and like, um, I just think the spirit was allowing this to happen because you was a little naive. You know, you were a little nice. You were a little big hearted, you know. And if you if you can, you would like to think that everyone has the same intentions as you, but everybody don't. Okay. So yeah, y'all, we can't be friends with everybody. We can't be we can't show everybody love, you know. We can't show everybody niceness. Cause yeah, like I've been saying the whole time. Some people take it and it turns into an unhealthy obsession. Next thing you know, they trying to do love spells on you. And not just the exes. I'm talking about those jealous people too. Those jealous people, they out there lighting candles and doing spells on you too. Probably, you know, got that little voodoo dolls and sticking needles down in there just because you just because you wore a pink shirt one day that was really cute on you. Okay. I'm just trying to tell y'all how crazy these people are. Now if you guys are like, nah, okay, spirit is going to show you and they're going to confirm to you that I'm telling the truth. You probably have a dream or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let me hurry up and get off this reading for y'all. But for something this serious, I really wanted to break that down and let y'all know what it is and show you guys what it is that you're doing to actually, that's actually making these energies stay around you. So, um, yeah, just wising up a little bit, you know can't be nice to everybody and i'm talking to myself y'all know i'm talking to myself that's all y'all <laughs> i'm talking to myself also continue to grow come grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye y'all